Efficiency is key for us. How do we uh, improve efficiency? Efficiency in, in, includes crew tracking, includes cost reduction. Uh, cost of production still an issue for us to so dollars the barrel, not acceptable. I've already said we need to very short, shortly in 2018 begin to move this closer to $15 a barrel. That would be a major, major savings area. So it's something we're working on collaboratively. Um, we're planning our marginal field trams to, and we're also planning our inland basin field trams. It's going to be a transparent uh, process to bring in people to help invest in some of the neglected fields and find us more barrels. The previous marginal fields have been largely successful. But over only about 50% of those are in production. We need to find out why the previous ones um, failed in certain respects and make that better this time. So if you're one of those investors looking for where to put your money, get ready. The rules are going to be out soon once it's approved by His Excellency. Uh, Parastatals and agency restructuring is going on very massively and very quietly. We did that of NMPC before I left. It's continued. But we're facing the other parastatals to make them more efficient, more nimble, more focused. That is ongoing, and with that will come the exit of some of them from federal budgeting because then they'll be able to stand on their own feet, provide for themselves, and be able to run their shops. In all of this, one of the key highlights uh, is going to be transparency. What is important is that we started a process of transparency two and a half years ago. We started a process of process, uh, making sure that their process are leave uh, people like myself in positions. We're going to be very bullish and continue on that. We're going to continue to drive that even more aggressively in all the parastatals. Where there are bots, where there are structures, we need to work with them to ensure that there's an open playing field and everybody is involved in the process of making this country better. We cannot end without thanking His Excellency the President for the enormous support and enormous encouragement that he's given us in the work that we do. As we go towards the finish line, that support and encouragement is even going to be more required. We thank the Vice President for the role that he's played in times when we pulled him out of his schedule to help us sell this, some of these pictures. But we look forward to a very engaging, a very revitalizing, a very challenging 2018 and 2019. The work continues. Of course, uh, Dr. Bekachiko, the work continues. And of course, uh, in case you missed that, in the MTEF 2018-2020, uh, what you call the medium-term uh, framework, expenditure framework, and the fiscal strategy, a paper the Nigerian government will be spending 65 billion naira on the amnesty a program uh, in the Niger Delta to keep the militants' restiveness in place. That's supporting the current Nigeria's oil production cycle at new highs that you've heard. As of course, and then the price globally around $60 a barrel. North of that, slightly 77 cents as of early today, is supporting that. The MTF also provided that this 65 billion amnesty, Naira amnesty program monies will go to 70 billion Naira by the year 2019 and 2020. That's what part of what we find in the MTF. But let's uh, return to the program. What is, uh, sorry, to the markets. What's making the headlines this morning? One of the blue chip uh, companies on the market, uh, Flamius, just reported this third quarter, or half year, beg your pardon, half year, half year 2017 numbers. Uh, Flamius reporting earnings per share that climbs 42% year on year to 3 naira 17 cobble. Revenue also up 17% year on year to 298.4 billion naira net profit before tax that came in 53 percent to the north year on year basis 13.48 billion naira and net profit 45 percent year on year to the north 9.36 billion naira but of course you know the numbers uh the earnings per share is where the icing and the cake is that's where you need to focus on 42 percent growth year on year to three naira 17 couple uh, reported this morning by Flamis. And we're going to talk a little bit about a few of the other earnings we saw yesterday from Union Bank, from Diamond Bank, and from Aiko uh, Group. But first, let's, uh, but again, let's uh, get back to uh, where we finished off on uh, uh, Monday, which is the first trading day of the week, and the last Monday for the month of October. Today is the final trading day. Look at the fixed income market, and uh, you can see, despite the liquidity uh, in the marketplace, you find the secondary market still very strong, although in terms of numbers, the uh, bond market via the FMDQ secondary trading was a little bit sluggish on Monday. We finished Friday around 9 billion naira, but yesterday was down uh, to 4.15 billion in total. But the four most actively traded naira papers were those you see there, the midterm 2017, 2037 and 2036, uh, long-term paper and another uh, 2026 mid paper you can find those four then you find the treasury bills 119 billion 119.79 billion uh, that was on track 
with uh, Friday, the last trading day for last week, when you look at the treasury bills, and you can see the tenor of the four most actively traded, the most active, 113 deals, 28.75 billion naira, uh, at a discount high of 19.1%, uh, maturing 28 of December 2017. And you can see the rest of the uh, numbers uh, there for uh, yourself. But again, if you uh, take a look at the currencies market, where is the Naira? Uh, as we speak, the Naira was down almost 1% uh, to 36061 at the INE window on Monday. It was flat at 363 at the uh, street market. At the INE, $108.34 million were uh, traded yesterday the, within the band of 360 or 340 and 362 uh, to uh, the U.S. Uh, dollars. We're now uh, effectively coasting to November and, of course, the final 60 days of uh, the year 2017. Today is very crucial. It's the last day that the Buhari's administration promised to deliver budget 2018 draft document to the National Assembly. We're still waiting to hear from Abuja. It's about uh, uh, a quarter to uh, 11 in the morning here in Lagos, Nigeria's financial capital. We have a few more hours of today's business day, whether the Buhari's administration will submit this draft document for 2018 to the National Assembly and keep its promise of October. If today fails, tomorrow morning, Wednesday, we're uh, entering November and we'll get to hear perhaps from the cabinet meeting tomorrow when the budget 2018 draft document goes to the National Assembly and how fast the legislators and the senators will decide on the key issues within this and see if we'll deliver 2018 budget in 2017. Let's come back to you after the break.